Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. My name is Jeff, for those of you that might be new here, and we are behind the scenes at the Tampa RV Show. So, what are we going to expect? So, I'm here a little bit earlier, and see what takes place behind the scenes as they set everything up and get everything ready. So, I'm excited about this week. We've got a lot to do. We're going to be meeting a bunch of new vendors, new partners as well as seeing some new rigs. I'm going to be bringing as many of those to you as I can and uh, show you what's new for 2023 in the RV world. So as mentioned in the last video, we are really going to spend a lot of effort changing things up and we're going to focus on bucket list items you guys want to do. So I invite you to go to our website. I'll leave it below. And for those of you watching on TV, here's your QR code. And go to my website. And on this form that you're going to be going to, it asks you what's on your bucket list. I want to know because we may just go do that with you and it'd be a lot of fun to do that. In addition to that, I've totally redone the website and we've got a lot of new merch. And again, there's a link below to see some of the new merch. I'll show you a few items here. I'm pretty excited about them and uh, I think you guys will like it. And by the way, for those of you on TV, here's that QR code again to get you to the merch page on our website. So we're going to go behind the scenes at the 2023 Tampa RV Show. So before it's open to the public and before it's open to you guys, we're going to see a lot of that stuff. So you're going to get a quick peek at all of this. Um, but before we go do that, the other day I was out shopping, picking up a few things, and I came across something I thought was pretty cool. And I think you guys will like this. So take a look at this and we'll be right back and we'll show you some things about the RV Show. All right, everybody, here I am. I thought you guys would like to see this because it's kind of cool. I'm at Walmart, came here to do a return, and I met Bruce. And Hello. Bruce here is uh, with Drone Up. I am with Drone Up. I'm a ship lead here at the Claremont location. We have uh, 35, 36 different locations in uh, different states, southern states. Uh, we are doing uh, last mile delivery for, uh, for Walmart. We have a contract with Walmart to, to uh, yeah. provide uh, deliveries, like drone deliveries. We uh, get to a location, uh, someone's ordered something, and then uh, we get a flight level of 80 feet, and then we cable it down to their front yard or a determined location. We hope to do some great things. Uh, I, I think you will. Yeah, I, we're, I think we're it's pretty excited about it. We've got a great, great support structure with, uh, not only with the, the whole drone up structure, but that relationship with um, uh, with Walmart and I think it's awesome and, I, and you're obviously working with the municipalities not only for the first responders but for other practical uses that the drone might be able to assist exactly in lots of things I exactly. think that's fantastic yeah. you nailed it right there that's yeah right there. there's that's a lot right. of opportunities now the drone as we were talking earlier Bruce was saying it has about a 10 pound lifting capacity yeah to carrying. stay within the 55 pound limit of this uh, oh, aircraft yeah. classification um, we don't we don't want to do over 10 pounds right, right. now we're doing three to five pounds and we're doing short distances, only doing a quarter mile of, uh, of this, uh, this location. So, all right, ladies, so if you want a wash machine or a refrigerator, this drone's not gonna do it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but we'll be an option for uh, maybe uh, uh, a small package of soap for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get your last minute uh, spices for your dinner tonight. Exactly. You might be able to get yeah. that. Or medications. Yes. Not interested in getting out of the house, we can send you a bottle of aspirin. Yeah, there you go. I like exactly. it. Yeah, oh, Bruce, well, hey, thank thanks you very much. much. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate your interest. and. Uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, everything's up. Drone That's up. That's right. Drone up. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Drones delivering your groceries or medicine or whatever you order from uh, Walmart. That's under 10 pounds. Well, like he said, he's sticking to 5 pounds right now. But, but very cool and exciting because it's innovation is coming up with new ways of serving the consumer, serving the public. I think it's pretty exciting. As you can tell, we're in a new location. We are actually at the entrance of the Grand Design booth or display area and they're in a new location. So instead of being over to the north side, um, it's basically right outside the door of the main building. When you go through there, they're just across from the lake right on the main entry there. So real convenient. Now I'm going to show you a couple of little RVs that I uh, took a tour on while I was roaming around here getting my bearings. Uh, as I mentioned, I got here a little early. So they're still setting up, so you're going to see some of that as well. And then I'm also going to show you a few behind the scenes things uh, at the RV show as they're getting set up. So let's take a look at a couple new... Here we are at the brand new 410TH toy hauler. And this one is equipped with anti-locking braking systems. I don't know if that's standard or 
if that's an upgrade or option. So, and it even has the TPMS system built in, or it's prepped for it, it says. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll zoom in. So anyway, here's the 410. We'll take a quick peek on the outside. Um, got the TV and speakers right here, the stereo system in the exterior. That's nothing new. Now, Chad and Tara from Changing Lanes have already done a review on this, as you know, if you watch them. They are new proud owners of this unit. And I do like these new handles, or the locking handles for the gates, or the ramp. Lots of windows here in the garage. And as you can see, I can't get through in that way. But I do like that they put a, down here, they put a smooth plastic or aluminum there. It's actually a plastic rather than a rippled aluminum that we have. Um, I think that's an improvement. So no slide out for the bedroom up here on this side. But obviously have one there. It's a very deep one as well. Enormous pass-through basement. I'm just overwhelmed with the size of space that they have down below here. So not only can you get a big slide-through or pass-through tray, um, you can get so many other things in here. Oh, oh, and you can control the audio system on the outside as well as the inside. That's kind of cool. And it's the same mag magnetic latch that they've had. Two battery disconnects. Now I'm told these are all pre-wired for solar um, and also have, moving forward, a small, I think, 65 watt panel up there to always keep your batteries charged. Let's take a look, see. Yep, two regular lead acid batteries. Uh, with a big shunt. That's kind of nice. It's already pre-installed and There's the solar charger That I was talking about that comes on here So very nice. It's the Onan 5500 generator Which we all know and love All right, let's go inside take a peek First impression when you walk in, you've got these stairs right here, which are usually tucked into the wall here, but now they're stepping out because they give you more room up the bathroom and uh, bedroom. And this unit doesn't have the table and the sofa that they have on changing lanes. They've got this real long sofa recliner. Pantry, nice kitchen layout. And the televator right there. A very long, large fireplace. Look inside the pantry. Not real deep, as Tara had pointed out when she did her review, but not bad. I gotta be honest. I like the size of the garage. I wish I had this much space in my garage. But I'd give up my bedroom and all the other space that I've got. Full half bath right here. I shouldn't say that, just a half bath. But it does have the three season doors on the back, which is very nice. It's hard to see, it's very dark in here. They don't have the ramp open. But it has this uh, lazy jack system that this lower part turns into a bed, and then there's a bed up there too. And then moving on forward. Yes, if it was mine, once I take delivery, that would come down. 
I don't like stickers everywhere. Oh, they added a handrail here. That's a, that's pretty nice. Full size shower. It's the same size I've got. Just a little more uh, updated shower head. I like this. I'm going to talk to Grand Design, see if I can get myself one of these and just change mine out. And I do like the separate commode room. Although when you're in there and the door's closed, with my long legs, that might be a little tight. Let me try it. Yep, I can't close the door. <laughs> I'm too big for that little commode room. Little window there. Very large bedroom. King size bed. So there you have it. Quick little review of the 410. This is behind the fence where everything's getting set up and you can see all the RVs here. And we've got a couple horses here from the horse show last week. Wow, you walk into a little turning staircase to go up to the loft. Back bedroom here, very spacious. Very large kitchen and living area. Got a televator here. Another staircase to go up to another loft. Big Island. And another full bath. Very large shower. Starry, it's a little dark. There's no power on yet. So, if you're going to go in an RV park and you want to live there full time or maybe half a year, this could be an option for you. A lot of space. Obviously, there's no storage space down below. That's not what these are designed for. And yes, I'm taking you guys on this tour with my adventure from Aventon, which, little hint, there's a new one on the way. We're going to be talking about that soon. So we come to the bike ride on Saturday the 21st. 
you'll be one of the first in the entire country to see that. The new bike. Barring any logistical issues getting the bike to me, but it's supposed to be here Wednesday this week. So as you probably have noticed, you see a lot of the scaffolding on the ground here. These are basically banners and stuff that'll be put up for each of these booths. So you notice that as I'm riding around here, that's a pretty common practice. There's some more right there, putting some tents up, flags up, and they're rolling out the carpeting right now in a lot of the areas. Still have things in crates. Here's a tent that's about to go up. So let's see if we can't get into the main hall and all the stuff that's going on in there. So you can see, none of the booths are set up yet. Well, the booths are here, but the vendors haven't set up yet. It's Sunday morning still. Not quite noon yet. W hitches. Air streams are all in. And a little REI branded airstream designed to go off road down the trail. They call this the base camp. Look at these, the Realm from 4 Travel. And as I mentioned, the Prevo. So, still getting ready. 4 Travel chassis. And of course, it's going to have the big Cummins, 600 horse, 605, I believe. Again, the power's not on many of these right now. A little too early. I'm told they're going to be powering everything up tomorrow to get all ready for industry day. All right, those are a few cool RVs. That's just a sneak peek on what's to come. So I also want to remind you guys, on Saturday, January 21st, we're having the bike ride from Ybor City down through the Riverwalk of Tampa and back to Ybor City. We'd love to have you guys join us. So all you have to do is click the link below to sign up to join us. And there's going to be some uh, great uh, coffees, as I'm told. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm told if you like Cuban coffee and Colombian coffee and things like that, this place has got fantastic coffee when we start our ride. And Gas Pros is also going to have brunch or breakfast ready for us when we're done with our ride. So that should be fun as well. So it's a short little ride. So go ahead and click the uh, link below and the QR code above here if you'd like to join us on the bike ride. I just need to know a head count so I can tell the restaurant how many people to expect. So. And it's free to join us on the bike ride. So it'll be a lot of fun. So hope to see you guys there. Well, that's kind of wrapping things up. I just want to remind you all to go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and ring that little bell that notifies you when I'm putting on another video. And of course, as always, I'd love to see your comments and hear your comments. Uh, please go ahead and comment away.
Um, I hope you guys appreciated this inside look or behind the scenes look, if you will, of the 2023 Tampa RV show. And uh, hope to see you guys here. And by the way, if you see me walking around, don't be shy, come up and say hello. And if you do that, I've got a couple little prizes for you. Okay, well, thanks for watching and make it a great bucket list day. Goodbye.